We are so happy to be joined today by Professor Gunther Hellmann, who is a professor of political science at the Goethe Uni University Frankfurt am Main. Um, and we just have a couple questions uh, for you today about kind of the state of the world and Aspen Germany's role. Um, so I'd love to start off with the question of how much do you think has changed in the world since the invasion of Ukraine a year ago by Russia? Well, a lot has changed. A lot has changed uh, in particular, of course, in Europe, because uh, for many European countries and governments and societies, mm -hmm. Uh, it just has been uh, unimaginable that war can return uh, to the extent that it has been uh, occurring since last year in Europe. Uh, so I think the most profound changes have been uh, in Europe itself. The world uh, as, a, as at large has been affected also uh, at a minimum because, uh, of course, the relations between Russia and the West and China in addition, has fundamentally changed as a result of the escalation of relations. The sanctions regime uh, has been um, a worldwide issue in uh, the context of the United Nations, in all kinds of multilateral settings, uh, and it has, of course, pushed uh, countries in different uh, areas and regions into positioning them themselves uh, either in, in uh, support of uh, the West or in support of Russia or, or, and, and China. Uh, the interesting um, uh, change that has occurred as a result of that, in addition, is that um, many countries uh, have uh, uh, decided uh, to explicitly and decidedly take a more neutral role. They might have supported Western sanctions to some extent, but they have not uh, come to uh, the Western side as we in the West might have hoped. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, um, we do see a sort of a different kind of um, uh, non-aligned movement. Uh, the, the Economist recently had a um, an article uh, about the uh, about 27 countries, very diverse in nature, big countries, poor, small countries, rich, that uh, have been trying to avoid positioning themselves. So in that sense, uh, a lot has indeed changed, and you would indeed also be live, living in a different world uh, if uh, Putin had, had not decided to invade Ukraine. Mm. Well, and it's certainly an issue that Aspen Germany has been following and doing many events and uh, writing on. Um, I guess shifting to a more general question, and obviously you're very closely tied to Aspen Germany, but what do you see as uh, the organization's role and, and importance for society generally? Well, since Aspen has been formed uh, in the 70s, uh, Aspen has been playing a major role in linking uh, uh, elites uh, in the U.S. Uh, uh, and, and Germany in particular, uh, and uh, different segments of society that are possibly not as close to the political decision-making process as they usually are. And the work that Aspen has been doing uh, ever since, uh, especially as far as important topics uh, in uh, transatlantic relations in general and global politics uh, more generally, uh, have been linking up uh, society more broadly in terms of the hot issues debated publicly and political decision makers. Um, uh, I, as you have hinted, I've been close enough with Aspen for a long time, uh, actually since my start uh, here in Berlin when I studied uh, at the Free University, and I've always been impressed by, by the, the capacity of Aspen, uh, given the, the size, the relatively small size of the institution, uh, to link up with high and significant segments of society um, uh, on the one hand and political decision makers uh, in government on the other hand. So I think even though uh, Aspen is a small uh, institution in the Berlin think tank world, it is a, a quite influential one, I think, in terms of uh, its links and is doing a lot of good work, uh, in particular also in linking society more broadly to decision-making circles. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. I think it's, it's always uh, great to have you in our offices with us, and um, we'll look forward to seeing you again here soon. Happy. <laughs>